I'm Shane White, and this is The Process. Hey gang, Shane Patrick White here with another edition of The Process. On today's vlog, I want to talk a little bit about mentoring. I'm recent, as of last year, I started mentoring a friend's daughter in storytelling. She's a high school student, and she has a high school project to produce a 24-page comic by uh, the I think it's May or something like that. So if you've never drawn a comic book before and you're going to illustrate or write and illustrate a book and design the characters and have your schoolwork and all this, she's got she's got her work cut out for her. But I'm trying to help her as as well as I can. We meet like every two or three weeks. But it's been really great because she's dedicated to doing uh, doing the work and she's really interested in the craft of, of creating comics. And so uh, I think it's, it's important at some point in your career, you might start thinking about mentoring or teaching. Um, one of the things I'm actually working on outside of this is uh, building a Patreon page to teach storytelling for both comics and storyboards and illustration and all kinds of fun stuff. So um, that's kind of also what I've been working on too. So yeah, kind of get a double dose of things. Um, oh, here's today's cool thing. If you haven't heard of Saul Bass, shame on you. He's a, he's an amazing artist, and this book is one of those rare books that is both beautiful and covers is his entire career. He's a killer graphic designer. He's a filmmaker. He's designed logo types and posters and, and illustrations, and his photography is amazing. He's uh, if you're familiar with John um, Alfred Hitchcock, he did a lot of the uh, movie posters for like Vertigo. He even designed the Psycho shower scene um, sequence where um, Janet Leigh, Lee? Janet Lee gets stabbed. So he storyboarded that out. So he's also a storyboarder. Just, just amazing stuff. And he's given a lot of good uh, information to directors in terms of uh, title design for uh, a lot of the books. So yeah, if you can't see it, um, definitely check this out. It's, it's a thick book, it's a great coffee table book. I can't remember how much I paid. Oh, $75, uh, worth every penny. So check that out. Um, yes, so today's bit of advice. There's a, there's a thing when you're creating art, which is kind of interesting, um, especially if you're, uh, it's a really involved process. It's you have an idea of what you want the thing to look like and when you get closer to the end and it may not be going your way it gets a little frustrating uh, sometimes if it's going your way you know that's good too but there might be a reason for that there's a there's a thing a friend of mine told me once he's like release the result so what that means is even though you have an idea of what the end result is going to be Sometimes we get we get really, really buckled down into it's got to be this. It's got to be this one thing, and if I don't hit it, it's a failure. It's absolute failure. But what you're doing is you're clamping yourself down and you're tightening up in such a way where you don't you don't give yourself that chance to breathe. You don't give yourself that chance to explore, make happy accidents, find new ways of solving things. So, so next time you're trying, you know, a, a very involved illustration or painting, try releasing the result. Think about it like you're taking a journey. I kind of know where I'm going, but I don't have to take this one path. There's many ways to get to the end. So find that and release the result. So hopefully that works for you. If it does, leave a comment below. Tell me all about it. Uh, subscribe, tell a friend, whatever. Okay, until next time, uh, as always, thanks for watching.